I have to do this because I need to make a difference. It's quite a powerful sort of thing that we do. My job for me was everything. Those four years, I need to tell you, were the best years of my life. When people call 999, if they want the police, they get me. Right, so, what was your first civil service role? What was your first teaching role? What was your first police service role? And how did you get started? My first civil service role uh, was really in local government for Haringey Council. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a teacher. And then at the age of 31, I went to study. I thought it was going to be a temporary job for a couple of weeks after I finished university. Basically, I never left. <laughs> I went to North London Poly and those were four years. Those four years, I need to tell you, were the best years of my life. It was like a dream fulfilled, really, wasn't it? I am Team 2 Banbury, when people call 999. If they want the police, they get me. I got started just uh, because I liked like the, you know, the justice environment. Maybe it's because my dad was a carabiner, which is like uh, one of the police forces in Italy. I've been in just short of a year. And yeah, everything's really new at the moment, obviously. It's all really exciting. Every day at work's different. When I first retired from, from county cricket, I actually wanted to work with young people, but I wasn't entirely sure what it was. It was my experience of working in sport really got me kind of zoned in into wanting to work in education. I think above all, opportunity to help people and make a difference where I live, in my community, um, and then hopefully trying to see those changes. I work at CIFAS and where the Fraud Prevention Service for the UK. We hold something called the National Fraud Database. One fraud gets recorded with us every 90 seconds. So it's quite a powerful sort of thing that we do to prevent fraud at the start. Seeing young people in the communities like the one that I grew up in, I thought I, I have to do this because I need to make a difference. So a week before I retire, I'm going out on patrol with my sergeant. This woman's frantically waving me in a car. There's a man collapsed at the bus stop. So I unzipped his jacket and literally just went straight into CPR. So my biggest achievement is that there are thousands of children around two parts of London that have made a difference to. My job for me was everything, but to actually finish on that pinnacle of just... Saving another human being's life. Yeah. It's and amazing, isn't it? That completely topped my career. There's lots of teachers who've gone on to headships, deputy headship, CEO. It was about teamwork. You can't run a school and turn a school around on your own.